So we're talking about the role of the business analyst on the agile environment today. That is what we're talking about today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Carolise and I am your, your business analyst coach. Think of me like that, your business analyst coach, right? And I'm going to be here to guide you through this career. So if you haven't checked out my channel as yet, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please subscribe. Please check out my other videos. And today we're going to be discussing this wonderful topic on the role of the business analyst in Agile, but right after we hear this word from our sponsors. All right, gang. So today's video is brought to you by PM Milestone 2.0 Pro. And PM Milestone 2.0 Pro is a collection of over 9,000 product management and business templates that's going to be helpful for you in your next project. So I'm going to link this below in the description section. You're going to come here from the link, click on download template, and it's going to open for you this wonderful bundle of all your project management templates. Right now, it's only at $49 and a special offer. And that's a steal for what you're getting. I mean, you're getting so many options, use case, test plans, you know, project timesheets, so many options. There's lots and lots of templates in here. So go get it. When you do that, you're actually supporting what I'm doing here on YouTube. And I would really appreciate that. So go check out the link in the description section to get your templates from PM Milestone. Thank you. So what's the role of the BA in Agile? Well, not very different from the role of BA in any other environment, really. So you guys have to take it out of your heads that when you're Agile, it's like something different and we're going to be doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And people are very freaked out about Agile. Agile, 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 Agile. I don't understand how to do Agile. Calm down. You'll get it. <laughs> the BA is doing you know, basically the same things that they do under waterfall. You're still doing requirements licitation. You're talking to people. You're understanding the problem. You're coming up with the future state. You're, you know, you're, you're discussing with developers. You're doing walkthroughs. You're doing all of that stuff. The only difference with the agile versus the waterfall is that you're not writing this heavy documentation up front and you don't have to um, document everything, you know, out the gate before you even start the project. What you're doing normally in an agile environment, well, let me say this first, that agile tends to have a product owner as a part of the like scrum um, part of agile. You don't really have a role for business analysts, um, but the business analyst does work in agile, right? So the way they have worded it or worked it out is that there's a product owner and the product owner actually has a final say as to what gets, gets into the product. The business analyst is there to help the product owner, to assist the product owner in getting that, um, you know, implemented and done by the development team. So the business analyst normally does all of the requirements, solicitation, still all of that stuff. The product owner may have more visibility as to the strategic direction of the product and maybe having more conversations directly with, um, senior management and they make the final decision but the business analyst is there to help with you know writing the stories with doing the research with just working hand in hand with the product owner to be honest in some companies you know they have a business analyst that is doing the product owner job right because in some companies they say the product owner is the only one that writes the actual user stories in some companies no so the, every company is doing their own kind of thing so don't take it as being a rule, like a hard and fast rule. No, the business analyst is usually supporting the product owner and working to get all of the details ironed out. And then the product owner kind of makes a decision as, okay, this goes into this sprint and that doesn't go into that sprint. They're, they're monitoring the backlog. We talked about backlog in one of my other videos, probably go look at it here on Agile where you, you understand how you know, how we do sprint planning and things like that, right? So the product owner is in charge of the backlog and all of the stories that are in there. The business analyst is, is there to help keep that backlog uh, current in terms of the stories, have all the acceptance criteria, you've done your modeling, you have all of your designs ready, all of that stuff is how, is you know, what the business analyst is 
doing in the agile environment to help the product owner. So the main difference is that you're not writing this big long documentation that everybody has to agree on and sign off on about the entirety of the project before you can start writing a single line of code, right? You are doing it sprint by sprint by sprint. And so when you've done all of your elicitation, you've done all of your research and you've gotten the agreements and the approvals and everything, then you know what the project is and you break that down into bite-sized pieces. And with yourself as a business analyst, along with the product owner, you're coming together and saying, okay, which story is going to which sprint? And you're organizing it in that way based on the priority. The product owner has a final decision as to which one gets in. And um, they make the final decision on that in terms of the backlog prioritization. But you're there to help make sure those stories are, you know, they're ready, right? They're, they're, they're the definition of ready. They're ready for, for, the, for the developer to pick up if that makes sense. So that's really the role of the business analyst in a nutshell. And so people who are like kind of excited about it and a little bit intimidated by it, don't be, you already know the stuff, you know it, you can do it, you know it. Okay, so don't be too, um, too put off by the fact that you're not sure what the role is in the agile environment. Now, if you need some more help, please go check out my website. I have a free course on agile and you can go in there and watch the videos that i have I, where i talk about different topics to do with agile and as i was saying in my other videos i'm coming out with a paid course for beginners who want to understand the business analysis space and there's some other offers that i'm going to be announcing pretty soon that will be beneficial for you guys who need some more help okay so it's coming it's coming it's coming <laughs> 2021 is going to be amazing okay it's going to be amazing we have to make up for last year last year was just oh my god so we all we all have to do more this year we got to do more each and every one of us and i'm doing my part so do yours as well okay so i will see you guys next time please subscribe Subscribe, check out the links in the description and um, leave a comment, I'll respond. And I wanna apologize to all the people who have sent me messages and I haven't been able to respond yet. Oh my God, you guys, I really, I am going to do it, but I'm just, I'm just behind. I'm just behind in messages and emails and so on. So I'm gonna catch up, I promise, and I'll get to you, I promise. So in the meantime, check out my website, check out the links below, subscribe and like, and I will see you guys next time.